What's up boys? Welcome back to today's video and we are at Colonial Volkswagen of Westboro. We have been here once before. We did the Volkswagen Golf R here. That car was so much fun. If you guys haven't already checked out the video, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. That car was so much fun to drive. We had a blast. We're doing another Volkswagen today, of course. And today we're going to be doing the brand new 2024 2.0T Volkswagen Atlas. And I am super excited to drive this because they finally, finally decided to put a GTI slash Golf R 2.0T four cylinder motor in it. And I'm super excited to actually get to feel it because before they only had the V6. And to now kind of see a little bit of a new design, not as boxy, a little bit more sleeker, a bigger Tiguan, honestly, is pretty much what it is. And you got the 2.0T. This thing is a monster. The interior is beautiful. Finally got some paddle shifters, which you haven't really seen much in some of these Volkswagen SUVs. It feels good. Napa leather on the steering wheel. Digital screen, I love. The wood trim is really pretty in this car. I really like that. Harman Kardon speakers. Basically all the same that you would see in a Tiguan slash a new Golf R or whatnot. Basically your bigger screen, which is the same infotainment system. It's just a little bit bulkier than the one you saw in the Golf R. I love the design on the seats. Beautiful, like diamond stitching. Huge center console. I mean, just that God, I mean, the space you have in these three row SUVs. And then they have captain's chairs, which is something that every SUV should have now. Captain's chairs is the way to go. So before we drive this car, I want to show the outside because the outside actually looks really pretty. And I can't just drive it and not show you the outside. And the outside is just as pretty as the inside. So this is the 2.0 four cylinder all wheel drive SEL premium R line. And it is really pretty. You got the fake exhaust cutouts there, which I kind of wish they had actual exhaust cutouts, but they don't. But the car is beautiful. I really like what they did with the taillights all the way across. What I really like the most is how it's not boxy anymore. It used to be super squared off right here and it's not and I love it. Thank you Volkswagen for finally creating a beautiful bigger three row SUV. I love the new headlights. That's pretty. So much different than the original ones. Definitely clean. I like the black R-line grille. I love that they added these vents here to make it almost like what the Golf R's look like and their trim lines. Only thing I don't like is chrome. I don't know why manufacturers are still doing chrome, but they are. USB-C ports on the bottom, dual climate in the rear. I mean, look at the space you have. Oh, wow, that's a lot of space. Okay, I thought my mom's car had space and I am wrong. All right, we're bringing you a different perspective today, boys. I wanna try something different and I'm hoping it works out. Let's drive the brand new 2024 Volkswagen Atlas down the beautiful Oh no, is it listening to me? Don't say anything. Sorry. <laughs> it did that in the G it did that in the Golf R too. It's nice S4 right there too. I'm excited to go down these back roads again, like we did in the Golf R. And I'm excited to see how this car feels. I'm excited. Comfort, the steering is so loose, so loose. Let's put it in normal. I like that. I wouldn't really drive it in any other mode. Besides, I would probably drive it in. Oh, they have eco, comfort, sport, off road, or snow. Oh, wow, they don't even have. So comfort is your normal mode. This car, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I really feel like I wish I, I wish I had normal. I wish I had normal. Uh, steering wheel feels good. Thick. I like the flat bottom, kind of adjust my seat a little bit. Oh yeah, this is really comfortable and so far practical. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't drive big at all. It doesn't drive big at all. This car actually drives normal. Like it doesn't feel like a giant SUV. It feels smaller. And when I drove my mom's CX-9 for the first time, I felt the same way. Because the CX-9 was big but it didn't feel big. And that is one thing I can appreciate. Is it, it's big, you have all the space that you need, but it doesn't feel big. And that's a good thing. Try to stiffen it up a little bit. We'll put it in sport. And of course, we'll use the paddle shifters too, because why not? Okay. That, <laughs> that fake engine noise though. Oh, wow. Listen, as fake as that, I mean, it might be fake. Some of it might not be real, because I know in the GTIs and R's, they do it too. 
but <laughs> it sounds so sick. Okay. Torquey. She got power. Jesus, I'm not even stepping on it. I also hate that I'm in a 45 and I'm going 37. Also, Volkswagen, can you make your paddle shifters bigger? Please repeat. Please stop talking. Okay. I don't expect much from like SUVs like this. I just do it to see how it feels. It's a bigger car. So how does a bigger car feel? 99.9% .9 of people are not driving their Atlas like this. And I I wouldn't either. But I try it to see what it's like. Mainly we're trying to see dependability, practicality, size. How does it feel when it drives? How does the turning feel? The steering wheel definitely tightened up. How does the 2.0 turbo feel and sound compared to the 3.6, which I must say, so much better. <laughs> so much better than the six cylinder. I had a six cylinder Passat and I went to a 2.0 T GTI and it's so much better than the 3.6. Three six cylinders are nice, but the naturally aspirated six cylinders are not where it's at. <laughs> that sounds awesome. car drives really nice. It's really pleasant to drive. The four cylinder sounds incredible. A little bit of that fake sound in there, but that, that never hurt nobody. Always nice to feel the car. The car feels light, doesn't feel heavy. It pulls really nice. It's smooth and drive and comfort. I tap on the gas a little bit, it goes. It's nice and jolty, but it's not laggy. And it really gives you kind of what you need. I mean, it's, very practical, very comfortable, perfect power. I know they've been trying to imply a little bit more power into these, but also keeping it like what a Volkswagen SUV, a nice Rolls Royce right there, holy cow, okay. But also trying to keep it like what it's supposed to be, and that is a dependable family SUV. They're completing with Hyundai and, and Honda. But they have done a really good job in creating a comfortable, relaxing SUV for a pretty decent price point at 50,000. I really can't complain too much for $50,000 to get this kind of an SUV. Has more options than the CRV. It looks better than the CRV. It looks better than the Santa Fe and the Telluride. I Meaning it really all depends. Do you want a giant Telluride or do you want this? Do you want that CX-90, which is a new one that I can't stand the looks of it. I think it's ugly. Or do you want this? I just think this looks perfect do you want to spend all that money and get a mercedes gle 450 that's going to cost you 75 80 grand and it's not even worth that are you going to pay for an x5 40i or 50i and spend 85 to 95 000 or are you going to buy this and i just think this is a great option for an suv i think i mean you can buy the grand wagoneer i don't think you'd want to spend 90 000 on that unless you're in the market and you really don't mind you love jeeps and you're going to buy that you're going to buy it but if you're looking for an SUV and you're looking for dependability, you're looking for something for your family, you're looking for something that has a little bit of pep in its step and a little bit of that beauty, I think Volkswagen SUV is the way to go. I feel like I'm sitting in a car, but in reality, I'm sitting in an SUV. It's got plenty, I'm not even stepping on it. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, uh, that is, that blows my mind. All right, a little bit of a pull on comfort. See what it, see what it sounds like. Oh, it's definitely motor sound. Definitely motor sound. Because you didn't really hear anything there. 
He didn't even really hear anything. Paddle shifters are very responsive. I don't like how small they are, but that's uh, Volkswagen. They always do small ones. I don't like that they do that. Although the Golf R has bigger ones now. That's finally something to see. Uh, your boy is currently lost how to get back to the dealership. I'm not far from it, but I lost how to get back to it. So your boy has got to get back to the dealership. But this car has been a pleasure to drive. It's really, really beautiful. I'm just surprised by how small it actually feels. I like the power band. I like, I, I really like the comfort of it. These seats are very plush, very cozy. My phone is falling over. <laughs> I don't have a wire to plug it in to use CarPlay. So yeah, boy is just chilling. I really like the way it looks. I feel like a dad in it, <laughs> but like, I feel like a, like I feel like a, a dad that bought a good car. I don't feel like one of those typical dads that just bought a whatever car because he has kids and he doesn't have a choice but to buy a car. I feel like I bought a car that fits, a car that is nice, a car that everybody would want to see. And it's a great, I think it's just a great family car. I'm gonna take this weird turn right here. Okay. Just in comfort, in the gas a little bit. Awesome. Love that you get the map on there can throw the map up on here too. So the Toyota Highlander, I'm just that, seeing that one just reminded me of it. The Toyota Highlander is one of the biggest uh, competitors of this company too, of this car, because you know, Highlander is around the same size and around the same price range, but that's the thing. I don't think I'm going to a Highlander. I think I'm buying a Volkswagen. I think this is the car I would buy. The 2.0 just is so responsive, super torquey, gets you to where you need to get to in style. And you just look badass pulling up in a parking lot in your dad's sport whip. I'm just saying, you just do. You really do. You look really good pulling up in this. I'm taking my girl out on a date and I got the family SUV with me. This is what I'm pulling up in. I'm feeling good. Successful drive in the 2024 2.0T Volkswagen Atlas SEL R-Line. Beautiful car. I recommend coming to drive it.